Hello guys, in this video I want to discuss, uh, continue discussing the number of binary operation for finite sets and let's uh, think about binary operation uh, for in the case when n equals to 3 and when n equals to 3 uh, I know that uh, in my set I'm going to have three elements a, b and c and we know that we can decode binary operation in this table and in this table uh, this column is going to uh, set a, b, c elements and this row is also a, b, c elements when we define uh, this is uh, my column element is going to be my first element in binary operation and my uh, row element is going to be my second uh, let's use another, let's use x and y my second element in binary operation and I'm going to map this some element to z and we can see, let's just fill in like this table. Let's, uh, for a, a, I will get C, I will get A, B, A, 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 B, C, C. So what does it mean? It means if I'm going to take binary operation of A and A, I'm going to map this to C. If I'm going to take binary operation, for example, of B and C, I'm going to map this to A. And again, if you want to ask, how many combinations of these tables do we have? And we can see that uh, for this C, we have three choices. So we can either put A, B, or C. For A, three choices. For B, three choices. And for each of the entry, we have three choices. And you can check if n equals to 3, and I'm going to, by using again count, counting principle, when I multiply all my entries, I will get this is 3 times 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 3. So I can think about 3 blocks of where each block is 3 to the 3rd power. So in total I will have 3 to the 9th power binary operations. Yeah. And as you remember from last video, uh, for n equals to 2 we have 2 to the 4 binary operation. And then we can write formula for general n. So for example, if uh, we want to answer how many binary operations do we have for n, you can see in the case of n equals to 2, we have 2 to the 2 square. When n equals to 3, we had uh, equals 3 to the 3 square, when 3 square is 9. And we can make a guess, and actually we can check this guess by using a counting principle, by drawing just a table. The number of binary operations of finite set with n element is going to be just n to the n squared. And you can see if you have like four, for example, like four binary operations uh, with n equals to four. Yes? Then you're going to have four, four to the two, so four to the sixteenth, it's already a lot of binary operations. So, on the finite set, each binary operation will give you a certain structure. How to assign, like, in some sense, if we have integers, we have either addition or multiplications. But are there another binary operation integers which are going to be well-defined? And what does it mean like to be well-defined, and why do we need well-defined binary operations? Uh, I'm going to talk in the next videos. Thank you.